Hmm? Not terrible. At least it's not a culture guy. Looks like we got a humanitarian. Wow. You know, this would be a badass spot right here. You can get uh, three mountains, four trees. You really don't need that much crazy production, but you know, if you can take advantage of that, that could be an awesome production city. Say, say I needed to um, stage a, a lot of production on the front here in case they started sending a lot of units at me. You know, I, could, I would at least have that sitting there waiting for them. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to move south here. Or send them to the... Uh, that's a good question. What should I do here? Let him chill for a second. Maybe worth taking them all the way to the end here to get one extra tile. So I'm spending my gold pretty quickly. That's a good sign though, it means you're expanding properly. It's pretty good, pretty good uh, tech per turn. Plenty of beakers. Chengdu. And let's fix it. It's just going to take a while to run around here. Well, I'm going to plant this guy and use the humanitarian. And so that's going to be good for my tech, actually. It's going to help every city. Unfortunately, every time you get one of these guys, it means you also have to go through all your cities. Let's make sure these are all good. Three, two. Now 
some you're just going to run out of tiles here. Tech's too important right now, so I'm not going to worry about production in that little city. Nine production here early in the game. That's pretty good. Let's see what we're getting. Ooh, 77. Very nice. So that, that guy definitely helped out. Definitely make the change. Remember, you need to get to 100, about 105 tech turn. I think we're going to go with banking now. Yep. We need to re remove that future. This guy does absolutely no good over here. So just start running him over, I guess. Um, now, I converted over, so I'm not getting the same, uh, Man, that's a lot. 118. I may be done. I'm all done expanding. Because that's pretty darn good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here and just make a little wall. So it looks it's looking pretty good right now. I may build one more one more settler just because I want to take advantage of that nice mountain over there just in case I really need to uh, kick up the military expansion. And uh, you're going to need good building anyway if you're going to make some bombers, right? So uh, let's let's take advantage of that. And, you know, 11 cities. To be honest, that's actually not enough, even though I have a lot of tech. Um, there's no reason to not take advantage of all this land. Because what's going to happen is they're just going to go berserk and start expanding at some point, and you're just going to want to prevent that by being there instead of allowing them to fill it up. Oh. Looks like they have something I can steal over there, so let's see if I can uh, do that. So we're going to get banking next turn. That'll give me a little money. And that'll help me expand right here. So that'll be nice. Not a, eh, there's plenty of trees. Should be able to fill this in a bit. City right here would be good. Alright, so let's do it. Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Uh, got a bank. 100 gold pieces. So, I can research industrialization. That's good. Takes quite a while. 
Um, so what I'm going to do, since that's going to take so long, I'm going to beehive for university instead. So let me go for math, since that's the prerequisite. Just a guess. Sure enough. So I need to pop out yet one more settler. Just gonna drop this down, but it's totally worth it. I don't want to expand from either of these cities. I can't expand from here, so. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to do my best here. So we're going for university right now. Let's pick that up. The only reason that unlocks the Oxford University, so that's why I need that. Plus, it'll give me some more tech. And, uh, I need to start thinking about engineering, too, just because bombers do cost quite a lot. No reason to keep that thing, just sell it. I don't know if you saw what I was doing right there. There's actually a, a way that's kind of considered cheating. You can use this right stick and spy on a spot that, and click A. I have to click A here. Click A here. And you can find out if there's a, a Roman unit there. Even though it's cloaked. It's actually a bug. Uh, but it's been in there since forever. People use it in multiplayer. Uh, so, what you can do as part of the game. Uh, they never fixed it. So. You know, it's... Might as well use it. I'm a little concerned about building there, just because, uh... We may have a culture spread, but this, uh, water will help break the culture a little bit. But, uh... You know, this isn't really a good spot anyway. I might as well just take it over here. Get back in the boat. Oh, nice. Looks like there's some more, uh, stuff over there to go check out. I'm actually gonna get university in two turns. That's pretty strong. The Romans are doing alright, though. And this little area here is just very strange. Not a lot of sea tiles, as you can see. Yeah. Well, what do I really need? I mean, I just need a spot. I may not need more cities, because the ones I have are so good. It's always good to continue expanding, so... A lot of these spots are not so good. I got my fortresses built up right here. They can put it here, I just don't want to build. Maybe I'll just make it my final city. I don't know. Nah, I got the gold. Just do it, man. Gonna spy on the enemy again. Hope they don't kidnap my spy. And, oops. Yeah, see this is the problem with, uh, queuing up 
moves on your units like I'm doing there, it'll yank your screen all the time. I don't, ever, I don't recommend ever doing it. Nothing? Alright. Nothing. Alright. So. Nothing. Half cost libraries. Alright, now we can build Oxford and we have this plus one bonus. Might have to get a prereq. I don't know. How about we just go with engineering? If I get engineering and inventions, see, that's a long way to go, though. That's a lot of prereqs, and industrialization is really good. Five gold per turn per city. Let's see if this actually works. This is the most important thing going on right now. Very lazy room. So, that was interesting. Um, get a couple settlers out of that, though. Uh, I'm actually planning cities with five population now. That's really, really good. Because um, I'm in the, was it, industrial era? Whatever they call it. nice thing about that is it means I can make two settlers after planning. So that means I can send one over here. Alright, that'll be good. Yeah, I'll put them right here. Next turn I'll use that humanitarian. And that's gonna work out. Now, I don't see any way to get around researching industrialization like this. Might as well do it. Gonna rush another one. And just sit there like that. Let me plant this mega city right here. Tianjin, that's gonna be my badass city. Go ahead and do this. That's an awesome one. That's so good. Things are going very well in this game. Very few snags. You know, if I'm lucky, this. Alright, this is us. That's kind of stuff. Um, this could be industrialization. Nah, not that lucky. Oh, um, okay, that's the government one. Not really worthwhile at this stage, but nice to get just for the culture at least. Maybe able to do something with that spy even. Uh, so, once again, gonna have to do this.
Looks like I got some good production in my capital, so maybe I'll go with that. And maybe I'll build a cool wonder here at some point. Looks good. Looks good. Great. Lots of good production going on here. Let's just keep them focused there. And good. Uh, let's do production here too, guys. How's it looking? Ten. It's pretty good. Let's put at least one guy here. That may actually be a worthwhile investment of barracks, actually. Maybe worth building a pike man right there. If I can wall them out, that'd be very effective against them. <laughs> 